was also 90 kilogram when I started. You were 90 kilos? Yeah. And now accelerate out of the saddle and catch them up. Great. My story is very, uh, very strange. Uh, very strange. I start um, when I was young, is, uh, when I was eight until uh, 16 years old. Was it in your family cycling? Or? Yeah, my father was cyclist. Yeah. Uh -huh. amateur, A pro? No, ah. I'm an amateur uh, cyclist. But serious? But serious, yeah. And then, um, then I start uh, when I was young. And um, then I ca came on a point when, when you are 15 or 16 years old, uh, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Uh, you go with your friends to the to the bar or you go uh, to uh, yeah to uh, do the professional and with cycling and everything and then I take the way to go to the bar uh -huh. and it was really because uh, it's just easier <laughs> yeah, or, or what? It is, yeah you, you make a choice you do that or that or that and I make that, that choice and it was uh, was very great and but uh, in the end after um, uh, seven years uh, I did normal work. Uh, I was 90 kilogram. And after seven years, I, I start again with. How tall are you? Uh, 185. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. But 90 kilos is serious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, did you ride during that period at least for fun? No. No, nothing. No, I make streets. Uh, only streets. Just I was not uh, fat or something, but I had big, uh, big. I imagine muscles, yeah. uh, muscles, yeah, sure. everything. Yeah. Did you do any, you know, I don't know, for some 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 sports work out like gym? No. Yeah, I I, I did sports school. Uh, yeah, after uh, the normal work then work day, I did um, yeah gym. But no cycling at all. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Seven years, you say. Seven years, I uh, was oh. totally uh, yeah not in the cycling uh, world. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and how, how come that you, you have, uh, finally found yourself back in cycling mm -hmm. and, and uh, at such a serious level? Yeah, yeah. I um, uh, I was with uh, my uh, ex girlfriend uh, looking by a race from for uh, my brother. My brother was a uh, was also a cyclist, and then I um, yeah I was thinking uh, yeah why not I I try. Uh, every weekend uh, uh, party uh, is nice, but after seven years, uh, you're thinking, uh, yeah, maybe it's better to do something, something else. And, and you just grew up after yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I look uh, in the papers that the cyclists from my age uh, are professional and everything. And I was in the time when I was cyclist uh, when I was young. Uh, on the same level like that guys and I was thinking yeah maybe maybe mm -hmm. it's possible to go uh, to come on on that level for that guys mm -hmm. and um, yeah then uh, start uh, when I was 21 uh, by an amateur club I was and uh, was 90 kilogram and then mm -hmm. step step by step yeah, Didn't they try to make a truck sprinter out of you, know, <laughs> with no. 90 kilos of muscles? <laughs> no, no, no. And then, um, then when I start, it was very hard. Uh, first year, first, second year. But then uh, the people around me, she knows me from the from when I was young. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, then that team picked me up, and there I grow up. And then I come another team, and she knows me there, and picked me up. And, yeah, after that, um, in 2000, uh, 2009, I was professional. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. That was quite quite a jump, basically. Yeah, I was 26, uh, 26 when I was professional. For cycling, is 26, and then uh, go to the professionals is yeah. It's so nothing is impossible after nothing all. Nothing is impossible, no. Some writers talking about, oh, yeah, I'm now 22 <laughs> and, and 23 and I'm now, yeah, not, not professional, but yeah. I was 26, just for everybody, uh, yeah, 
it is not uh, impossible. What are my numbers? Yeah, um, my numbers in the morning is normally is 40, uh, around 40, 38, like that. Uh, uh, when I feel my a little bit sick or something and I see it is 50 or 10, 10 higher then I can uh, stay the whole day in, in the bed you know mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that's that's sure I know my, my body when it's that higher then you can uh, take a rest day mm -hmm. and, and my maximum is uh, more than 200 oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah heart rate yeah really high yeah, yeah. I would say so yeah today we today test and it was 184 I think on the last climb I did, um, I was uh, I think uh, 60, 68, 69 and I did uh, about the 30 minutes, 390 watt. Mm -hmm. That's impressive for this week, yeah. Yeah, and that after, uh, yeah, after a, a long stage, yeah, five yeah, it, hours. It tells the story. And uh, yeah, this year is also the finish there, eh? in, uh, in that stage. Uh, before I come with uh, Bayastana was a yeah, uh, time trial uh, was for me uh, uh, one of the best things uh, and, and and climbing yeah that's uh, that's it and last two years was uh, a lot of riding for uh, for uh, Vincenzo and uh, and this year uh, yeah the team gave me a lot of uh, chances also for myself and I'm very happy with that and and uh, take um, more time for uh, the TT uh, for, my, for, for my time trial and the last two years was that uh, yeah to last I ride uh, almost uh, never on, on the TT bike and, mm -hmm. and now I'm very happy that I can do uh, yeah more uh, that's also rides. important for the team because the team is also uh, Pretty you no know, focused on time um, team time trialing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah but yeah, also, uh, um, yeah, the team before was uh, yeah, I was two times uh, Dutch uh, champion, uh, uh, top ten uh, for the world uh, uh, time trial. Uh, for me, is yeah, I start and the first kilometer is for my for me the. Uh, the most important uh, to go from uh, heart rate uh, low till heart rate uh, very high and then after one kilometer then I must breathe and breathe a few times and then is the um, yeah everything till the finish line for me is a little bit longer is is better yeah yeah this uh, the best Longest, yeah, around 20, 20, 30 kilometers. Yeah, that's special. Yeah, that's very strange uh, for me. Um, when I, when everybody look me uphill, I ride very um, with an. Uh, my RPM is uh, very high. Is around 90, 100, and then in the time trial, I, uh, yeah, I put the. The biggest gear. It's just grinding. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's very strange. Exactly. How big? <laughs> yeah. How, how big is possible? And uh, but here, uh, here is only 55. But yeah, then then it's 55, 11. Not mm -hmm. uh, Good, good weather. Yeah, yeah. Up to I long. like uh, I like good weather, but. Um, it's also strange, but yeah, I think uh, I'm a strange guy. But I uh, the most uh, victories what I have and the best results is in bad weather. Yeah, the most important victory is for me, and that's the reason I think when I sit here in uh, with with Astana Pro Team is the victory in Paris Nice. Yeah, on a uh, call uh, the, uh, in the finish uh, in Maande, finish mm -hmm. uphill. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a classical route after all. Yeah, it's a uh, famous uh, climb. Yeah. And uh, when you can can win there um, in a favorite group uh, and sprint uh, for Wiggins and Valverde and that uh, kind of riders, then yeah, then you can be uh, very happy. 
this year I do a lot of uh, uh, classics also. Um, yeah, I go uh, support Lars uh, 200% in the classics, and uh, for me is uh, the three days the Pana very important. Uh, mm -hmm. I was a lot of times there uh, second uh, always, and uh, yeah, I tried this year uh, go for the win there. When it is uh, uh, very hot, uh, the races in Australia, in Dubai, and Qatar, yeah, then it, then is um, the whole day uh, uh, a spot uh, drunk uh, is not so good. So then it's sometimes water and everything. But uh, when we go to uh, yeah to Paris Nice and that kind of races, uh, is there not normal drunk and not not a lot of water. Yeah, I try to to. Go to the feet zone, uh, the normal food, uh, the normal uh, normal things, and not the the sport bars and everything and the gels. Mm -hmm. I um, uh, I try I try to start after the feet zone with the, the bars and everything and and in the beginning and uh, the banana and uh, uh, bread like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The, I like the the, the yeah the Dutch uh, kitchen uh, yeah, in Holland. That's for me uh, is that uh, always good. But I live now in uh, Monaco, so it, it is a, a little bit difficult. But uh, the normal uh, Dutch uh, kitchen, I like it. Mm, I I come from Holland. I'm a normal person, and Monaco is not totally normal, but. Uh, I lived there now three years and I can handle that, but uh, I don't know for how long, I don't know, but uh, in the end uh, I do it for my sport and, and I can train there very good. Uh, you have a lot of climbs, uh, long, short, steep, uh, five, six, seven percent, uh, you have everything and um, yeah, I can train there uh, the best and also the my teammates, a lot of teammates stay there and and train with her, with her, and uh, yeah, I stay good there now. Monaco is Monaco. It is yeah. You are always from home, and eh? you never is uh, by the by the family. Uh, but I know that uh, the cycling life is is short. Um, it is a few years, and you must uh, take it now. And I do uh, now 200% everything for my job, and uh, try to how long as possible to do this job and uh, make the good results and. Uh, Stay good and uh, bye one team.